What is going on YouTubers? Alright, Austin here from New American Woodsman Channel. Uh, I wanted to do a real quick video on me reprofiling this edge for the Russell Green River Works made in the USA. Got this from Canteen Shop. Absolutely awesome. Uh, check out my other video and I go over the unboxing of it. Definitely good. Um, real quick, I just want to explain what I use for um, all my blades in general. This is pretty much everything here. Uh, I have a 220 1000 grit whetstone by Norton combo and then I have a 4000 8000 grit whetstone by Norton uh, combo also and these are kind of what I use my main go-to's when I got a lot of work to do on an edge. Uh, when I'm just touching things up what I keep with me are the DMT, coarse, medium, and fine. Very small, they work great at all my blades. I really like these guys a lot. No weight to them. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a cough going on right now. So those guys, and then last but not least, if I'm putting like a shaving sharp edge, I've got a strop system here um, that I use for the final edge on those guys. So, here we go. I'm going to move this one off and over. And normally I will skip the 220. I only use this for getting out of uh, getting chips out and things like that. But um, right now I really want this blade. I just want to get this done fast. I don't really want to take my time and go through it. So, I'm going to start with the 220 and kind of rush through it. Um, oh, I forgot some water. Um, I need water right there. There we go. Uh, especially without, I'm going to try not to pour this everywhere, with the the low grits, <coughs> excuse me again, uh, the 220s and 1000, you want to keep adding water to this. Um, you want that water to be able to clear those metal uh, particles out of that stone so it keeps cutting. Um, that, that's what these stones do, they're actually cutting the metal that you're pushing against it. So it's actually taking metal away from the knife. That is what's going to be creating the edge. So here we go on this guy. And what I do is I start it flat and then I pop it up to about 20 degrees. And my trick for finding 20 degrees is if you split the back of the knife in between your thumb, about half my thumb is roughly 20 degrees. So that I will keep the side of my thumb, this side, even with the knife while I'm pushing through it. And that will give me a constant edge on that side. So again, I just divide that blade with my thumb. That's roughly 20 degrees. That's the edge I'm going to work for. Touch my thumb to the, the stone. Lean the blade down until it touches and then I'm going to follow through. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Touch my thumb down follow through. It's kind of awkward for me to go slow. I'm used to doing this really fast, so I'm, I'm just going to get into it here. Now, I've been sharpening knives for a long time, and there are in infinite ways for people to sharpen knives to get the edges they want. And none of them are really wrong. Um, I do things that are unconventional. Other people do things that, you know, when you look at them, you're thinking, what the hell was he thinking? But it, it's really what works for you. And this is just about what works for me. I have found that this um, works the fastest and the easiest for me. You can see there, you're start, I'm starting to get a little bit of a gray, so it's just starting to take off um, shavings. And right now, this thing is going to be probably like a two minute blade for me. It doesn't need that much work, it just needs a new edge on there. And the factory edge wasn't bad, I mean, it was decent, I just, I don't like such a, uh, a short bevel on there, or a short um, angle. I like to get it a little bit steeper, so start off at 20 and then I usually go to like a uh, 15, 17 for my general purpose knives. Let's 
That is getting really close. Now I've almost already doubled the edge on there of what it was from the what it was from a canteen shop. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going a little bit more with that. Alright, switch over and we're gonna hit the 1000 grit. And and these Norton combo stones, they're not all that expensive. Um, they're not terribly cheap, but they're not terribly expensive. I mean, you can get, I believe it was like $40 for one of the combos and 50 for the other, and they work great. I mean, I, I really, really like them. There are some other uh, stones out there. I believe uh, Chosera is a brand of stone um, that, that's also pretty good. Um, a lot of people recommend those, but Norton's always been good to me. And um, when, I, when I find a company that you know treats me well, I try to stick with them. All right, that is really almost there. We're not gonna spend too much more time on this. On this grit, we're gonna switch it up here and go right to the fine stuff. And then any little adjustments I have to make, I'll do with the uh, DMTs later. But as far as reprofiling this edge, this is gonna be about it. Uh, if you can see that all that gray right there that is from this metal Let's let this stand get some of the water out of there so it's on the carpet the wife does not like it when it goes on the carpet all right this guy actually dried out a little bit too much here so we're gonna re-wet this now this you normally don't have to keep re-wetting for the four thousand eight thousand it just once you get a little bit surface wet, it's fine. And what this is going to do at this fine of a grit, it's actually going to start making a mirror edge on that um, a mirror image. Or God, what am I going to say? I uh, can't even speak right now. It's going to make a mirror finish. Thank you. That's the word. Mirror finish on that edge, where if we were to take little pocket microscope and look at that there's going to be very 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 fine grooves going down throughout there sorry I'm just trying to test the blade um, I can usually tell how sharp a blade is just by running the pad of my thumb over it um, it should feel right before I, I'll, I'll strop it or do the final t uh, go through on the whetstones it'll feel just a little bit toothy and um, that's when I know it's pretty much that's as far as I need to go with the whetstones and I will uh, switch it up All right, that's getting almost scary sharp. So we're gonna switch over, and this is the 8,000 grit. Now, this is really, really fine. You don't need this. If you can find just a 4,000 stone, um, you're okay with that. This is, it's, it's almost kind of overkill. Um, but since I got the combo, I just use it, and I like it, but it's not necessary at all. Stropping with any sort of paste will give you almost the exact um, finish that this will. But since I got it here, I got water on it, it's fine. Now you'll notice too, this, the water on this one, it, it's staying on the surface. Um, it, it, you really don't have to keep wetting this the fine of a grit.
That is damn near perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some real light passes on there. I'm going to take off any more of the little imperfections that are on there real lightly. All I'm doing is I'm decreasing the angle a little bit on the final passes. So like I was saying, where you know where I was doing a 20 to a 22, now I'm going to like about a 17 to an 18, and those are just rough estimates. I just that's how I've always thought of them. Um, don't know if that's exact, but they seem to be a pretty tight bevel on there. All right. I'm going to uh, put these away, go grab some paper, and we're going to see how it turned out. Stay right there. That is plenty sharp for what I'm going to use it for. I don't think I'll have any problems with that whatsoever. You know what? I got a little bit of a burr, I think, right up there. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to determine right there. All right, so right there, I got a little bit of a burr. And all I'm gonna do is take my, oh, it's right there. I'm gonna take my fine DMT here and I'm just gonna Hone that right on out of there. The other side. All right. Let's see if that helped at all. Honey. Oh, much, much better. There we go. That is some serious ass kicking awesomeness right there. Ooh. A little bit more, right there. Let's see how this guy turns out. Why not a paper? That's good. I'm gonna leave it like that. Any sharper and it's gonna be too sharp to use. So right now, that, I would say, is something of beauty. Way to go, Canteen Shop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions or if you need any help on uh, any, any of your sharpening things, you know, feel free to ask. Um, that's why everyone's here on YouTube. You gotta learn from someone. So, uh, any questions on gear, any questions on technique, any questions on style, different things that will work for you. Um, you know, I've got a hundred other sharpening tools that I, uh, that I don't really use. So, chances are, if it's, there's something that you use that you got questions on, I've either run into it uh, when I was a butcher or I currently have it sitting in the garage. Alright guys, well, um, again, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you next time. As always, be safe and God bless.